Hey, down here. Okay, well, back with a not live stream. Um, what am I recording on? Oh, okay. I'm on the uh, wire Cam 2 wireless mic, and uh, I thought I was in the opposite. I thought I was on the SM58. Let me switch. I'm going to use that, but let me make sure what's going on here. I added uh, a, I added uh, audio from Cam 2 to every scene and um, yeah okay that's just I just forgot <clears throat> okay how I had it set so um, I was afraid I had things out of sync so anyway now I have uh, uh, audio from cam 2 uh, I'm an audio from cam 3 is still in there and then I have the SM58 but uh, SM58 I was going to start with it but I don't need it so this is fine I can't do a stream right now because ever since I, I, I well, was, I mean, I haven't had any, any problems like this. And I don't ever remember having this problem. When I hit start stream, it crashes. I do, I remember, well, anyway, I, I only thing I can guess is, you know, what I did today was add those streams. And it may be because, I mean, those scenes, those sources, the audio, I'll show it, the audio from Cam 2, I added it to every uh, scene. This is over here is the scenes, you know, the combinations of inputs and stuff. These are the sources that make up that scene. And uh, I had one, I had audio from Cam 2, and I think I only had it in Cam 2. And, and I do know this, this may be the problem, but uh, I just decided uh, to go ahead and just make a video like this since it's working. I mean, it, it should, you know, why would you stay and start streaming cause it to crash though? That's the thing. I mean, if it works in uh, just making a video, why would starting a stream make it crash? So it could be some other problem. I don't know what it is. You know, it could be a bug that came out in an update or something and I just haven't, you know, used OBS in a, about a week or so. <clears throat> so um, bug that, you know, will be fixed on the next update. But anyway, um, I've been filling around with it for couple of hours now. Let's see when I made my first test video. Um, 1.22 p.m. It's now 3.56 p.m. or thereabouts. Yeah. And uh, all those tests. So um, what I'm trying to, what I, my whole point here was to get over here and uh, let's see, I'll we'll get on USB and uh, Indoscope. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> and, um, yeah, I can't. Oh, I forgot. I've got my laptop running, for waiting for me to be able to, you know, check my live stream. Well, I can't check my live stream because I can't do a live stream right now. So I'm going to shut that and move it out of the way. Shut it down and everything. Now I can get over here on the, uh, yeah, the only way I know, I, all I have is to look at my OBS preview to know if things are working it's one, one reason why I really like live streams. <laughs> you can tell if things are working. And, uh, oh yeah, I was getting a buzz in the audio from Cam 2 with it plugged into the charger, so I unplugged that. So the view up here, hopefully it won't go out on me or anything. I usually can, I think I can go about 30, 30, 30 minutes maybe. I, get, I think when it's, I've had those phones cut down and shut themselves down in like 10 minutes on running on battery, but that was outside in the heat, so. And uh, speaking of heat, uh, that's what's got me. Okay, you see my phone laying here. <clears throat> um, getting ready to open it up. Um, yeah, it's still like that. I'm too close. What happened? How did I get so close? Oh, I see. I'm the, I'm the same as I was. So if I can do this left-handed. I just have to go up a little bit, I guess. There, I wanted to be as close as I could be, but not to where I can't uh, to show what I'm trying to show. Let me go ahead and get on the, I think there's a difference when you switch to a dual camera view. Let's see. Yeah, I think I get a little more wideness out of it this way. Well, maybe not. No, you don't. I don't know what happened. Oh, I, oh, because it's closer. Okay. 
Yeah, I see now. Just go up all the way, and then I can pick up the phone or whatever I need to do. Okay, so I was trying to show with my scale here, look at how swollen that case cover is. I mean, that's really swollen. And what, what I've seen on uh, videos and stuff before, I, mean, I don't know if I saw pictures too or what, but I, I mean, you can visibly see how swollen that is when you're just looking at it. But boy, you can, you can really tell it when you do that. So, uh, and it's swollen. Of course, it's a rounded edge on it, but I think you could probably tell just how swollen it is. So, um, I'll open him up and uh, go ahead and go back on that other view in case I accidentally get out from under this. You'll still be able to tell what I'm doing. Now this particular screwdriver is not very sharp, so if I, you know, I won't be cutting the edge. And there's a sometimes there's, I, that's not a button. But anyway, I wanted to see. I didn't finish my sentence. I keep doing that. Um, the batteries, when they start getting old and getting going uh, back, it was very, very warm, really warm. And uh, what what I had found it uh, when I went to get, you know, turn it on to use it and everything. Yeah, the battery's what's doing it. Uh, let me get that battery out of there. That'll probably fix the problem I was going to tell you about. Uh, When they get old, they swell, and from what I understand, when they get old and they start malfunctioning, they swell. They overheat and they swell, and they could pop. They could catch on fire, even, you know. And uh, don't definitely don't want none of that. So uh, now I'd like to be a little lower. Let's see. That's not going to work. I'm having to reach around my tripod to do this, so I'm really fumbly here. Yeah, that battery is swollen like crazy. But uh, it had been... Uh, what I do is I leave them plugged into the chargers, but I turn off the power strip every night. And so they don't... Uh, Look at that paper, it's kind of, yeah, it's pulled up. I'm not going to stick anything in there because, of course, the battery's fully charged. But, yeah, you can see that on the video, can't you? There is, uh, it's, it's so swollen there. You can push it back down now, but it had swollen up. It was pulling the paper loose, the sticker. And there's a, some kind of a metal thing right there, some, something inside the battery, probably a tab. Well, I, I don't. Only ones I've seen a lot of videos on are those 18650s. Uh, people taking them out of laptops and stuff and, you know, trying to build a, getting rid of the old ones and getting some new ones. And I mean, get, putting the good ones together to make a new battery, another battery pack that'll work or try to make a bigger battery pack. Yeah, okay, that's all metal. There's a, that whole thing is metal. And uh, it's swollen, so it, you know, I, I, it's cool. It's been sitting here. I, well, I showed at the beginning of this video how long it took me. I had other trouble with oh, something going on with OBS, and I had noise in my audio, and I figured out if I unplug the charger. I usually don't. I usually use this phone on its battery, and so I don't never. I, I never noticed. You know, I don't think I've ever really done what I was trying to do, and that was pl I had this mic plugged, this lapel mic plugged into phone two with it charging to keep. You know, I always keep. The, the video camera, the cameras I use for video, I keep them charging so they won't run down during my video. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's really, that battery's going bad. So uh, that's not good at all. I, I'm, uh, 
At the very least, I think I'm going to have to stop using this phone for my... I don't... They won't run. I don't... Never tried it, but I don't think they'll even boot up. You know, like if, say, if you plug them into the charger and take the battery out, I don't think they'll even boot up. Kind of doubt it. Some laptops will and some won't. But, uh, yeah, that thing is malfunctioning. And I don't know. I only paid 15 bucks for the phone, so <laughs> I imagine the batteries would cost them. If you get a battery for about <laughs> under $5, it still might be worth it to me. To get a battery uh, other otherwise uh, they'd be dead in the water uh, especially since I'm noticing that uh, the phone one it's a little bit swollen too but it's been running for hours and it's not near as warm as the other one but what I, the thing I was going to say at the first and it seems like it's this, uh, this one has been prone to, um, let's put the battery back in it and try and see if it'll do it. I'll show, I'll, I won't uh, put the lid on it, I'll just, well, I'm just about have to, well, you can, I can start it, I think. No, it's really hard to, let's put the lid, put the lid on it, like normal. And what happens, especially when it is plugged in, but it's just permanently swollen. So it, it had a lot of pressure on it and the heat, I think the heat reformed this cover in a swollen position because it's cooled off now. But it had sat there all day today, ever since I got up, I got up real early. So I got on the computer probably by 10 or nine. I, was, I woke up at like four or something, five and, oh yeah, I woke up, but I didn't really get up and get, I didn't eat breakfast at about five. So anyway, it, uh, let's hold the button in and just, I think this is what you do on purpose. If you just keep holding it in while it's starting up, it may go into this mode where um, you can reformat uh, it. No, it's just boot, boot, rebooting itself over and over. Um, you may have to have the power plugged in to get it to do that. Only, it just seems like it's going to boot normally now, I think. But uh, when you have the power, it, the power cable is plugged in, and it'll do it on its own. When there's nothing bashing the button, it'll just go into this screen where you can use the uh, audio volume key to uh, the sound volume to uh, you go up and down to go through the menus. Yeah, it just booted up. See, it runs just fine. Uh, but you, anyway, you go into the menus and uh, and you could uh, you can either just you got the default choices reboot or um, usually you have to unplug the power cable to get it to reboot normally. And when it gets like that, and uh, the other choices there's erase oh erase the cache or erase the whole operating system. And uh, <coughs> I mean, it's working just fine, but uh, anyway, my point being is that it seems just that's happened on and off ever since I've had it. Uh, after I had it for, I don't know, six months or a year, it started doing that. The other ones don't really do that. I don't know if they've ever done that, and I don't know what makes it do that. It's some sort of malfunction in it, either the battery, maybe. That's what I'm starting to think now, uh, but it, uh, it's on 80%. But I don't think it's charging when it's like that. Anyway, it was sitting there like that when I got to it, you know, at like 1.30 or what, a little before 1 o'clock this afternoon. And, uh, and so I did, I went ahead and hit the, you know, re restart with it and left it plugged in because I wanted to make sure and not forget and unplug it because I wanted it to be charged for me to use it as my wireless mic. That's what I use it for with my videos. This is my my phone I use for my wireless mic. I have my wireless mic, my lapel mic plugged into it and then I uh, put it in this little bag and wear, wear that bag around my waist and it works really well. It'll go. I've had it going, going five hours before and still didn't run the battery down. But uh, <clears throat> um, I 
I had to unplug it to get it to do to. Uh, I had to unplug it to, because it, it just rebooted back into that same screen. And then uh, at, during that process, after I unplugged it and I had it in my hand, I realized that, that I knew it was hot. I'm, I'm used to it doing that, which it kind of worries me. But it was really, I mean, it was really warm, you know. And I noticed that the sticker there was beginning to just self peel off. These are the stickers that, you know, come on them that you normally really take off. And I originally left that on there uh, because it shows you how to open it. And uh, this was going to be my mom's phone. And I, I thought it'll help her. I thought until she gets used to the phone, you know, and everything, uh, it'll help her remember how to open it if she needs to. And um, then she ended up not wanting to use it. She, she said it was too complicated, you know, to use. She'd never used it. And well, I never had used Android either. But I took on to it, you know. It's, it's and um, she and, and plus the screens are real small. That's one reason why I don't I don't use them for anything but cameras and stuff like that because the screens are so small I can't read anything really without a magnifying glass. And uh, so anyway, they're four inch screens. So anyway, she said, "Well, do you want?" After a while, you know, a month or so, she said, "Do you want it?" I'm not going to use it. So. Um, Yes, look at that. Is that round on the bottom or what? It's a spinning top. So um, I guess that's something you could use it for. You can put stuff on it and then give it a spin. Then you can have a spinning video. I saw, I saw that. That was real popular a few years ago. And then I saw some videos today in the last couple of days where they were people would make... Uh, I used to call them lazy Susans. Uh, they, they were little spinning plates of a thing uh, sitting on a uh, that you could put in your cabinet, and then you could spin it to find stuff. You know, they were real good in corner cabinets. I used to always, I used to be a cabinet maker, and we used, they used to put them in corner cabinets. Sometimes we actually, usually you just buy one made out of metal or plastic. You know, back in back in the eighties, they were made out of metal. They were fairly well made, but now they're all plastic. But uh, you could just do like that. And, get to stuff in a corner cabinet of course they're being round they kind of uh, didn't give you the full space to use that you have in there and you can't put stuff around them or then they won't turn good anyway uh people make them what do they call them? Oh, rotary, rotary table rotation table they make them put a little electric motor on it you can buy them but they're expensive just for photography what i'm trying to say is for in their videos they would have it going real slow slow way slower than that you know for you to see whatever it is they're showing you something that I was looking at uh, people making tools uh, different kinds of tools or, or kind of modifying tools to do what they want them to do or something is what I was looking at but uh, anyway they would do that and uh, <clears throat> yeah I'm, I'm I've worn myself out trying to get all this working today and uh, but it's running fine, and it's not. It, it doesn't get hot when it's running, not plugged in. And of course, they do. I think almost all the phones get a little warm. Well, when you're run, making video, they do usually get a little warm. Uh, this one's not warm though. The other one, I walked over there like you, you forgot you can't see me. I went to the phone one, and. Uh, it's not warm at all, and it's been on for hours now. Um, this one here. <clears throat> Go up here and... Yeah. Well, it's warmer than, say, the phone I'm handling there that's not been plugged in for uh, several, you know, hours, several hours now. But uh, I think this battery is about to ha have had it. Um, let me go ahead and uh, I'm worried about the, the other camera, camera two, running the battery running down with the with the uh, with his the camera app running. So uh, let me go over here. 
uh, I unplugged it because when it's plugged in, it makes a little, a little, just a slight hum in my audio, and I can't stand that. So let's get off of this. Let me get off of this mic, and I'll go plug it back in so it can be charging. But I don't want to put that hum in my video, so uh, you won't be able to hear me for a minute here. Okay, now I'm going to go and um, plug in that other phone. Then I'll come back over here and get on the desktop. All right. Now, let's see. Okay, everything looks like it's working. I'm going to get in the web browser. And when I open that phone back up, <coughs> well, first I'm going to turn it off. Sometimes when you turn it off, it does that thing. If it does, it, oops, I hit restart. That's something else that I think it seems to do worse than the others is um, you have to be really close to where you're going to touch the right, you know, what you're going to touch on the screen or it'll do the wrong thing a quarter inch away. So that may be another malfunction that it's doing. So I accidentally hit reboot. So uh, I guess it'll be rebooting. Normally, we'll see here. Yep, it takes its time too. It's the slowest one at rebooting of the of the phones, and they're three. They're Alcatel A845L. They're identical phones. Let me get it and uh, shut it down. The battery's going down noticeably. It's was it eighty. A while ago, I think it was at 83%. I know, I know it was at 80 just a second ago. Now it's at 78. So, uh, yeah, it may not be holding the charge as good as it used to. I, I, yeah, I think it may have, like, crossed a threshold because I've never noticed any trouble with it going down fast or anything. Um, that was a noise it made shutting down. <clears throat> so, um uh, it's just blue right now. Of course, I'm, you know, they do whatever they do. Okay, it shut down. What do I do with my screwdriver? There it is. Put it up there with my pen. Okay, now I'm going to just get the cover off again quick. And, uh, because what I want to do is get on the desktop and, uh, Oh, I can't really read that. I'm going to put that battery under the endoscope. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Endoscope. Uh, oh, I don't have endoscope and desktop. Well, we'll just get under endoscope then for right now. I've taken plenty of uh, screenshots of this before, better pictures, but I don't know where they are right now. So uh, that's as low as my camera, my tripod will go. I could probably stand to be a little lower. See what's on the other side. Ah, oh, 
There we go. That's what we need to know. Let's make this figure out which way to turn it. Three point eight volt. 2,000 milliamps out oh, the numbers on the front too yeah a live live polymer battery okay limited charge voltage 4.35 okay what's okay yeah that's the sim card I got a SD card in it and I don't think those would help me. Dang it. Still. Okay, so um it's desktop. Okay, now we're on the desktop. Okay, now I'm gonna have to open up my Yeah, let's see. just messed up renaming I'm gonna go ahead and rename that one I messed that's what I was grappling about so what I've figured out to do about that is to rename it and then just add a number on it or go to the go to the properties and rename it that way whatever way works it's just what I did okay so let's see if that's gonna be readable yeah I don't have let's see yeah I might need to know the phone probably all I really need to know is the model number of the phone the battery it won't hurt to search the battery model number though Okay, so <clears throat> I wish I could copy and paste that. L, let's see, TLP O two O A two TLP O two O A two. Oh. Audio pin out. Hmm. Wonder if I've searched for that. First, we'll do it that way. Battery giant. Walmart. Now, Walmart's where I bought it, so let's go there. Let, let's see. Eighteen bucks. It's about five bucks more than I paid for the phone. That's about what I figured. I doubt that. Uh, I'm sure you can do do better than that. <coughs> That's exactly the right battery, though. Okay, 
way, so let's select all tabs, because that's what you got to do now. They changed it, where you can't just, then you say bookmark tabs. You can't just bookmark all tabs. Aggravate me, well, get out. All right, so. Lion, lie on, lie on, polymer. I think they call them both. Uh, from what I remember. Um, same size and everything. So that will be a good. Um, That's probably what I'm going to need. Let's see what they got there at this first one on the research. Oh, $34.95. Yeah. No, thank you. Okay. Uh, 22 No, thanks. They really are. I hate eBay. I don't, I don't buy from eBay, so I don't even use it ever even look sometimes if I can't find what I'm looking for somewhere else I'll look to just to see if my, how, what my prices you know when I, if I just really want to compare the prices <coughs> that's currently unavailable okay let's just go ahead and do that <coughs> that didn't find what we want <coughs> oh I see see you need to put Oh, wait a minute. Is that a phone battery? Yeah. $10 and something plus, well, that's about what I paid for the phone. $10. What did it say? Yeah, we want new. <laughs> Renewed. I didn't know they had something like that. Don't care anything about the. Let's go ahead and do the four stars. Now, I was hoping there'd be something over there that I could say, you know, phone battery. Okay. Now, 13, 13, 11, 35. Let's say phone battery, I guess. Um, try mobile. I don't like using cell because uh, years ago, in the early, late 90s, early 2000s, most carriers stopped using the cellular protocol and they taught me not to call them cell phones and then everybody just actually then the whole thing of calling them cell phones took off bigger than ever after they quit using the cell protocol but anyway I always thought mobile phone sounded better okay I don't think they're yeah that's not four stars right now I'm a little bit worried with it getting hot and swelling that it could, you know, be, might actually be dangerous. So, really debating about keeping on using it. Now, here's the thing. The pinouts are going to probably be different. You can kind of tell by looking at some of them, whether, you know, I mean, some of them, they're not showing the pictures, but. I guess you really need to put your phone in there the more I think about it. I didn't put it in there because you look at it that way. Let's 
sometimes you don't want to be in a certain department either, so what just happened there? Oh, I guess I accidentally got that whole thing. I hate it. Dang. Okay. $15, same as Walmart. Oh, I yeah, it's the first one I saw a while ago. Case. Huh. Oh, no, there's a battery and a charging car charger. If I ever went anywhere, I would like to have had one of those. I don't ever take them. I don't ever go. Don't go much and don't take them. And I don't take them because they don't have service on them. Unlocked. Well, they come unlocked. Well, no, they don't. That's right. They're 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 locked to the Walmart thing service. But uh, is that really the same phone? It, should, it might be a newer model. Yeah. I was gonna say is that if that's the same model, that's that's just a complete rip off. <laughs> that's the only one that. Well, that one. That's fifteen ninety five, and that's sixteen fifteen. Is that two of them, or is it just? Oh, they're just showing you both sides of the battery, I think. Oh, but that's expensive shipping. Yeah, one Empire replacement. Okay. So. I'm pretty sure that's the oh let's look at this. T P T L P O two O A two. That sounds familiar. Yep. Okay, so that's the right one. Sixteen fifteen. But that the thing is the one thing about these phones, though, they're, um, let's see, they're quad cores, but they only got one gig of RAM, but actually, you don't see too many of them with two gig, you know, like two gig is what you'd want, or I would want. Uh, still don't, to this day, you see a whole lot faster phones, you know. Uh, the reason they marked them down, I think, uh, I did a lot of research on them, is people didn't like them because they had uh, only have... Uh, Four or eight gig. I think it's only four gig of onboard flash memory. So they fill up before you even start. They were dang near fill up when you get them, you know. So, and then I've always, uh, I've got SD cards for them and put, moved every app that I installed over to the SD card, but it still fills them up with some extraneous files. You still have to, ever so often I'll have to go back and, and I have to constantly clean them. I use, uh, you know, cash cleaners and stuff. Or an app called All in One Toolbox is what I use. Uh, they don't have any reviews, do they? Um, <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to add that to my watch list. In case I want to, I'm not planning on buying it because what I'm thinking is usually for 20, well, it was around 20 to $25, you could get one of, about the same, you know, like, like a year ago, but now less than. A few months ago, I looked, and it was more like thirty dollars to thirty thirty nine forty dollars to get one that's comparable to what I got. They might have, you know, they have a better camera and stuff, which would be great. Uh, so, and like I said, I mostly use them for the camera. I'll close that page. Just gonna use up memory on my computer. <laughs> have to watch that. Okay. So, uh, anything else that would be helpful? Now, I can close that up, too. Okay. So, that's what Amazon has, evidently. Huh. Oh, that was Amazon. I don't want... Don't really, I'll compare prices on AliExpress, but I actually try to buy... Oh, look at that. Now, that's more like it. Is it free shipping, too? 
cannot deliver to the United States. Well, thanks a lot. All right. Um, sometimes you keep looking on this site and you'll find. But I actually try to buy some stuff. I spent I, either all day or two days shopping for cameras and stuff. And I started to buy some things. And I don't remember how much it was totaled up to. But it, um, I did, you know, I went through the whole thing, used my credit card and all that stuff. And then it uh, sent me a notice saying, oh, well, as soon as you pay, <laughs> we'll send it out. And I'll, I already paid. And then then I got more notices saying that my car didn't go through. Please use PayPal. I was like, yeah, that sounds like a scam. They'll charge me twice. So um, I wrote, I went ahead and wrote the uh, each seller because it was like two or three different sellers. And they didn't, you know, like only one of them even acknowledged anything. The rest of them just said, well, as soon as you pay, we'll send it. You know, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, right. So, um and I thought, what is this, a complete scam, you know? Because I've heard about this for years. I don't look at it very often. It's part of uh, Alibaba, which I have joined years ago. And uh, But there's one guy that I watch his videos. He buys stuff on here a lot, and that's what made me think, well, it'll probably be all right. But And then after all that happened, I thought, you know what? I think he mentioned having the same thing happen to him. And he went ahead and did it and got his stuff, but I just didn't didn't want to do it, didn't feel comfortable doing it. I don't, well, eBay owns PayPal. They bought it years ago. I joined PayPal before eBay bought it. And I, PayPal, um, they have the right to take money out of your bank account and everything, whatever you got tied to it, you know, your credit card, your bank account. I mean, their TOS is horrible. Uh, it, the, and so um, I've never used it. I ever bought. I think my. I don't know if I ever bought a single thing with it. Um, so um, I don't. So anyway, I don't have it tied to my bank to a bank account for darn sure because they could overdraw you and get you in all kinds of trouble. But uh, so I didn't, uh, and I didn't trust. I didn't, you know, I didn't trust the whole thing. I didn't trust any side of it. So at least with your credit card, you have uh, for some protection. You I've never used bank cards online, period. Uh, I mean, using it through PayPal is a roundabout way to do it, but that's kind of, but using on that subject, using your bank card, you know, if somebody gets your bank card number, they could clean you out, and you don't have the guarantee of getting it back like you do with a credit card, so I've never used them. I figured that out in the beginning of all this fun. Okay, we'll see what eBay's try selling them for. Well, that's a little better, but uh, and do you, you you have to just it's hard, it's bad enough on Amazon making sure you're not getting a rip off seller, but on here, oh man. I, what I don't like about eBay is the eBay company the way they handle things. Like the last time I I even thought about buying anything on there, I was trying to find something and I went and put it in the cart to see what the shipping was because the shipping didn't. Um, it wasn't in the ad just like you would do on every other website and then I got uh, emails from them saying uh, I did I ordered something and didn't pay for it well I didn't I didn't check out I just put it in the cart and then left I think I tried to find a way to take it out of the cart and couldn't find a way it's been years ago now so I ended up having to call them the seller made a complaint on me and all this junk so I ended up having to call eBay and they said, oh, that's okay. We'll let you go. We'll let it slide this time. It's kind of what they said. And somebody with a foreign accent, I could barely understand them. And and, and uh, so I didn't, I was really wanting to tell them what I thought about the whole thing, you know. And I didn't even tell them because they couldn't understand. I couldn't understand what they were saying. <laughs> I'm sure they couldn't understand. Didn't know if they could understand me. And so that was the last time I even thought about buying anything on eBay years ago. Now. So, um, uh, Oh, that's how to remove a battery. Move the battery tutorial. Try it for me. Okay. So there's really not a lot to choose from to get. You do need to get the right battery. Let's see. There's another eBay. We'll look at that. Uh, that's 1895. So, yeah. 
Oh, there's some more up there, I guess. Looks like, oh, there's one. Yeah, that's one. Five ninety nine. Okay. So. Now I see it says new OEM. Well, then that means it's new old stock. That does look like, if, it's, if this is what you're getting, what that picture shows, then that's new old stock. So actually one of the, I've learned something, well, I've, I've watched a lot of reading, well, mostly watch videos about batteries and stuff. And these, especially these, these kind of batteries, uh, if they're not used, if they're set on the shelf, they'll go bad. Some of it's, I, let's see. I can't remember, you know, there's a lithium ion and that's called live polymer. Yeah, that's a picture just like mine. I already closed up a video of that, but that's a picture of one just like mine. Anyway, some, um, but especially with your tools is what I've been looking at because I've got, I've got some DeWalt 18 volt, I've got some DeWalt 18 volt tools and there are two batteries that, you know, came with them are both not working now. And they have 18650 batteries in them. I've been contemplating whether I should rebuild them or buy new batteries or what. For years, actually, they were getting worse little by little, you know. Now they're not even usable. Anyway, um, those actually nickel cadmium batteries will actually stand up. I just found that out recently. They'll actually not die if they haven't been charged for a much longer time than these newer, these poly lithium ions and stuff. Uh, I can't remember if lithium polymer, live polymer, are in the same category is lithium ions but the lithium ions i think are the ones they're putting in the tools now if you don't charge them up like if you let them sit around for just like two or three months they'll go they will liable to ruin them if without charging them they'll go down on their own without being used so if i well there's some that will some that won't uh, of these newer batteries and uh and I can't remember the right now. I'm not terrible about remembering the exact names of everything. So anyway, don't go by me. Just look it up. Um, look, look it up online or, I mean, you know, read about it or watch the videos or whatever you want to do. But, um, let's see. I don't think I did that yet. I just left the parentheses on there. Just cause It doesn't usually hurt the search results. So. Let's see, there's where I've already been. Yeah, $18. I'm not going to pay that. What do we got here? Some Walmart's doing it for a long, well, a couple, several years now. They have many sellers on Walmart now, and you really, you got to watch Walmart more than you do at Amazon now. Because they'll have like, like during Christmas, they had a, I don't remember what the item cost, $50 or something. I don't even remember exactly what it was, but the shipping was like $99. And uh, boy, you could easily get hit by that. I got the first, when they first started letting other sellers sell on Walmart, I didn't know it. They didn't tell anybody. And uh, I, re I always order paper towels on there and have it, you know, shipped. It's not even there, and uh, <clears throat> I reorder, and then they have the reorder button in your account. I hit reorder when I got them, and uh, I, I guess after I already ordered it or something, I noticed that it was going to cost thirty-five bucks for the one that, you know, that at the time I was paying like twelve to fifteen bucks for. You know, that's when I figured out, found out what they were doing. Another one, yeah, that's cute, dead dog. Okay, here we here's another place. <clears throat> New egg. Let's see what they usually do. It'll show up in the search results and then it's you know out of stock. Same price as Wally World. So you gotta watch them on their return policies. I think they may I don't know if they yeah, I guess they do have multiple sellers on there. I'm not sure. I don't. I haven't bought anything. In, I bought stuff there, but it's been many years now. I don't know what that is, but I did find a lot more by going to there's Alibaba. Twenty dollars. 
And I don't think I've no, I've never actually bought anything. On, well, Alibaba, it's more for, you know, business sales, and they usually won't allow you to buy one of most a lot, lot of things. And if you do, then you pay a premium for it. You know, for instance, like if you were both see there, eighteen bucks for that. Just like any, you might as well buy it from Walmart or somebody. You, you don't have to wait to, two to three months to get it. And uh, you don't have to worry. And you know you can send, uh, well, of course, if you buy a battery online, you probably can't return it. But normally if you buy something, pretty much anything in the store, you can go take it back, you know. And, well, uh, well, that's, again, with Walmart, you can't just say that. And if you buy something online, um, yeah, you better watch out because it may, it may not be, if it's not from Walmart and it doesn't say you can return it, then you may not be able to return it to the store. And I, I only try to buy things that um, I think are going to be good. And if they're not good, I can have free shipping to return it because I don't don't go out and get out much. Battery Bob. That's the name of the website. $15. That's a little cheaper than the others. Where did I... Oh, I... The one that was fifteen dollars that I saw that I saved a while ago, I guess that was at uh, Amazon, wasn't it? So, BizRate. I used to use that to search for shopping before uh, even before there was a Google Shopping. I used to use this for here BizRate, but it's the only thing they have in there is. Uh, people that pay to get their stuff put in there but it used to kind of be helpful because people that are hungry to sell you know would get in there and compete uh, but it seems like when I go in there now it's just well no there's something that's cheaper I guess I'll put it in my search I must have hit the wrong thing I usually hit control to make it open up in a new tab but it oh that's on eBay 1850 milliamp. I actually already forgot what size the battery was. 2000 milliamp. Boy, that's a small battery. So I thought, don't want something like that. That would be the other thing to watch out for when you're searching for batteries. So. Yeah, there wasn't nothing good in there. <clears throat> Every other kind of battery in the under the sun. I hate it when they stuff their pages like that. Cause a lot of times you'll get on a page and it doesn't have anything anywhere related to what you're looking for. And, uh, there's something, there's a relation. <laughs> well, I mean, I see it has lie polymer written after, so it's in a different order, but those probably no telling what they fit. I don't think there's anything to any of that. Okay, and I don't think there's much else to look at, really, in that. As far as buying a battery, doesn't look too good. Sometimes you can find. Oh yeah, I guess it's worth them. There we go. Deal extreme. Deal extreme. It doesn't usually show up. I bought something from them before, and uh, well, uh, you don't see them too much in the search uh, search results. It's just trust phone battery. What's this? Oh, ye ye ye. Let's see if taking out the parentheses helps any get any more results actually made it worse that's weird wonder why huh they got a weird search set up
Oh, I guess the reason it came up wasn't the numbers, but the uh, cell phone battery. Okay. But see, they're 10 bucks, and They used to have a lot of stuff really cheap. I actually bought... Uh, yeah, that's one of the things I bought. A whole pack of like 10 or 6 or down there. Where are they? Yeah, it looks like 8 or 10 uh, trip, uh, double A batteries with a charger for like 10 bucks or something years, several years, quite a few years ago now. And they don't really hold a charger. They still work, but they don't hold a charge for very long at all anymore. Um, it actually turned out to be real good. Uh, you know, I mean, if you, everything is made in China, I figure you might as well buy it straight from China if, you, if you're not in a big hurry. <laughs> but uh, I haven't bought anything in, in years from them, but I did. I just remember I'd forgotten about the site, and I remembered it the other day when I was looking for something I couldn't find. So uh, let's see. Batteries in general. Let's see. What's that? Yeah, AliExpress. I was looking where I was when I was looking for some kind of battery. Uh, 18650, I think. Looks like that's what they are. They, if they're not, they're something close in size. But see, they used to be so much cheaper to buy those 18650s. Now they've gotten too darn expensive to. You can you can now buy your tool batteries cheaper than you can buy the batteries. You know the whole tool battery. I mean, from a Chinese outfit or something. Where is that? Well, it's kind of a range of prices. Yeah, AliExpress. Okay. So um, yeah, Amazon eighteen six fifty batteries. There's a bunch of ways, and now you can buy them with the little chargers and stuff too. Uh, which I saw that on a video where I got, well, I'd seen it before, but I didn't pay a lot of attention, but you catch these things on sale, sometimes you can get them cheaper. See, these are not the kind you have to solder either, which, uh, of course, I don't want to take them in and out of my battery shell, but I got to thinking, you know, you could, you might be able to put them in there in a way that they don't have to be soldered in the pack, you know, but it'd really be a pain. And you could solder those with the t with the knob n n nub on the top, but you really don't want the ones with the nub on the top to to redo your your tool battery pack. But anyway, um, it's not the kind of batteries I'm looking I need right now. I mean, I need those. I just don't want to spend the money on them. But you definitely want to fiddle around replacing a whole handful of batteries all every so often. Oh, that's gone now. Well, that's good. Now, there's the thing. that That's what now you can put. You can buy this kit. <clears throat> it's actually cheaper than it was at Christmas right now. But you can put uh, convert by the converter there and uh, two batteries and a charger. That's a lot of money, but thing would be good about that and that's probably what i would do i've looked at all the you know china brands and everything too uh, that's by the time you buy all this because you got if you're going to get those batteries those 20 volt batteries you got to have a charger for them you know your old charger won't work <clears throat> and uh anyway when i if I, i'm probably what i'll end up doing at some point i guess well first i'm gonna see if i can if i can get a hold of rebuild my battery pack then i'll do that for cheap I'm going to spend any money, I would do that. And then uh, maybe one day I'll buy, like, well, well, the next thing I'd really want is an impact wrench, impact, <coughs> battery powered impact. Something like, I guess that's one right there. No, that's a drill. <coughs> but uh, I don't know what that's about. Yeah, you look at the pictures first and see what, what uh, whether or not they're worth getting. If they don't have stellar reviews, I know that. Because uh, I did have poured over them some, but uh, oh yeah, I remember that thing about the batteries going bad on you. Ryobi brand batteries, the ones that specific batteries they're using the last few years, 
They're the ones that will die on you really quick. Uh, I think they're a little bit different type than the DeWalt, if you have the real DeWalt batteries. Uh, and uh, video I was watching, the guy said, if you just make sure don't let them run down too long, then, yeah, here's some of these different. Uh, see, like there, you used to couldn't get, you used to couldn't get uh, two batteries for 18 volt batteries for less than 75, you know, dollars. Now, is that two of them really? For 34 dollars? Usually, it's 34 dollars for one. I think. Okay. But you got to watch the. Uh, they also lie. Some of these sellers lie about the manufacturers. Lie about what's really in them. You got to watch because some of them they'll say you know what it is and they're telling you that they're not anywhere near what a, you know the original DeWalt nickel cadmium batteries are. These are the nickel cadmium batteries here. It says upgraded to two packs, which that's you know okay two packs. So this is a battery pack. <laughs> So I guess it's two. That might be uh, that's probably one of the ones I got in my watch list because I'm a member of the screwdriver. But yeah, now it's getting to where yeah, there's a well, there's a combo kit with a drill, and I think that's a I don't know if that's an impact or what that is. It's actually not too bad of a looking price there. It's only probably one battery, though. Got to watch those pictures. See, it shows a battery on that one and a battery on that one. Now, in that case, you might buy that and then just buy one of those adapters for your old drills and stuff. I have a drill, a uh, saw, and uh, what else? Maybe I just have a drill and a saw. I think I just have a drill and a saw. can't think a reciprocating saw I cannot say the word I want to say when I want to say it let's see drill driver impact driver okay it's a quarter inch I don't want a quarter inch impact I want a half inch at least three eighths at the minimum I'd rather have a half inch of course they get pretty, pretty pricey but I want something to take wheels off the car, the, the stuff that's hard to do. I don't need, I don't, why would you need an impact for a, anything that you would drive with a quarter inch? I mean, quarter inch socket set is the tiniest one they make. So anything under three eighths is just ridiculous to use a driver for. Most things that are three eighths, you really don't need a driver for unless you're just in a huge hurry. And, if it if you can drive three uh like this the, my 18 volt drills or i've used it with my electric drills for many many years before these kind of tools ever were invented you know if you want to drive a anything you can you can take off put on and take off stuff with your drill most most things are well if they're pretty tight you know something that what i'm saying is it's a three half three eighths um shaft size but I've made many, many years I've made adapters or they sell. I've been selling them for a long time now. I used to make them. I used to cut one end off of the, of the uh, extension so that, you know, cut the square end off so you could fit it in the drill and then drive uh, any size, any, whatever size that, that you got a 3 8 socket for, you know. And, um, but you don't, you know, I can't imagine using the, quarter inch uh, to drive anything you'd end up breaking the screws I mean I am guess that uh, well I just don't get it I mean you uh, I have never had one so I don't know what they're capable of exactly but uh, I've used drills to drive stuff for many years and I have used impact real impact wrenches on the cable I used to use them a lot in high school we had them that was when I fell in love with them in high school in auto mechanics back in 1975. And um, never got one yet. Well, actually, I did have one, but I never got to use it because I didn't have an air compressor. I ended up 
actually trading it for some auto parts that I needed in 1975. <laughs> I got it for Christmas. <laughs> I still, I'm still sad about that. Got that impact wrench. I had a real half inch impact wrench, and uh, uh, I did have a compressor that was my grandfather's, uh, but it was for painting, and it wouldn't go up. It was really supposed to run at like 25 PSI. 40 was 40, 45 was this max, and I didn't know that. I was just a kid. <laughs> I didn't know you couldn't run an impact wrench on 45, 50 PSI. And I, cr I figured out how to crank it up. I tried to crank it up. I cranked up as high as I could. And it would do 40, 40 or 45 PSI, but it was a gas mortar. And so uh, once it got, if you cranked it up beyond that, then it would just kill the motor. The motor just couldn't handle it. It didn't ruin it. It just died. But, uh, yeah, there's one that's a half inch, $85. Well, it's not as high as I was thinking. I've seen them before. I'm shopping now for, for the wrong thing. I'm trying not to. I'm, normally, I would put all this stuff in my... No battery, no nothing, though. But that's what I would like to have. Then that should... I still don't know. I may would rather have an air. I've got a compressor that'll do a steady 85 to 90 now. So I should be able to at least... I couldn't do it heavy duty work but I could uh, I mean like constant but I could do you know take some wheels off and stuff like that things those things that are killing me these days wearing me out okay um, I don't know how I got where I'm at oh from this yeah that's all going to be tool batteries and stuff because that's what I was looking at okay um Now I went completely blank. Oh, down here at the bottom, my what I just got through making. Okay. Oh, it was an Amazon. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. So let's see what we get with this. A845L and a free micro USB car charger. At least you get something else there. That could actually come in handy. Huh. What I was thinking, <clears throat> for some reason, I mean, I guess I could look, but, uh, man, you know how much stuff there is on. Let's see. Let's do this. Oh, I guess you should say smart phone. Let's just do smartphone, and then we'll see how we can narrow it down. Yeah, see, there's one right in there, $39, which is no telling what it is, but, but, well, actually, you don't necessarily have to worry about the stars if you're not, that's how I found mine, is not by, not by going the most liked, but by the specs is what I did. People seem to have a lot of them on here. They used to have a lot. Huh. I don't think they're big into selling phones anymore. So let's just go with a Walmart again. They're still big into selling phones. Okay, let's see. Due to winter storms, customers in the North Sea may experience delays. <coughs> Okay. <coughs> um. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to figure out. Let's see. I'm going to put unlocked over there. And pre prepaid. That's what kind of phone this one was. Yeah, see right there at the top. 39, 49, 140. Let's see. Uh, Walmart's narrowing down thing is not very good. 
15 gigabyte prepaid. Sometimes this helps. Let's see. Internal memory. Yeah. We only want Android. That's for sure. And uh, do they have... Yeah, they don't show you the processor, so... Now, what I was going to do is go by price, but let's try it anyway. There we go. No, it's been more, 2 gig of RAM, 8 megapixel camera. That's a lot more than what I got. So that's kind of about what I was figuring. Now let's see what's over here. Go by Android. These are all expensive. <clears throat> used to used to see the last time I when I when I bought these several a few years ago now, you could find a lot of cheap unlocked. Well, they were a little usually a little more than like these Walmart brand phones. That's a Walmart one or not, but two gigabyte of RAM, that's twice what I've got in these, that would be cool. But I'm really, you know, if I'm gonna spend that much fifteen bucks was alright, but you know, double that for the phone, then you might as well buy a little camera. Because that's what I'm really using them for is cameras. Quad core. ARM Cortex A7. That's uh, mine is either an A6 or an A7. Guess I need to look at mine and see what they are. And 16 gigabyte ROM. So that'd be better than what I got. I got four, I think, is what I got. And then uh, two gig RAM supports up to 256 uh, gigabyte of. SD card, external memory, and the mine will do 64, and that's what I've got for all. Well, this one that I'm looking at here, I've only got 32 in it. But yeah, so this is kind of what that year, I don't know, they just maybe they thought if they sold them real cheap, they'd get people to sign up for service, and maybe it didn't work out. I don't know. But I haven't really, I saw them real for, I saw them kind of go up to about $19, and then uh, the year after that, they just went up and up. And you know, usually, the older things get, the more they go down. But front camera, two megapixel, rear camera, eight. So that means I might get four to five megapixel video, or maybe. And uh, I'm only getting not even two megapixel video out of mine. It's, it says it's a five megapixel camera. That's something else you got to learn the, the hard way. <laughs> I don't know if I figured that out before I bought it or not. I mean, it, it, it makes good enough pictures, but not not as much as I... Well, not as much as I originally expected, for sure. Yeah, that would be okay. Uh, what I do, though, I'll see it's three stars. There's a reason for that. Now, if it's because they keep failing, then I wouldn't want it. But if it's... Uh, trying to select what I want of that and it won't do it did I copy it I don't remember <laughs> but uh that's just a little bit more and then they jump on up so let's see what this one is oh I don't think I ever tried sorting them by price let's see oh it's already on low to high oh I did that a while ago okay only one left hurry up and get that well, let's see it has four stars 16 gigabyte 
see if how much different it is. This is on Boost Mobile. I don't remember what. I don't think unless Walmart owns that now. But I, that whatever theirs was, it wasn't called Boost when I got it. Camera's the same. Same RAM. Thirty-two gigabyte. Yeah, I think that other one was sixteen. Oh, expandable, via. Oh. Well, that's not near, near as good uh, specs as the other one. Expandable to 32 gigabyte. What's the onboard? If this expandable 32, that means the onboard is a lot less than the other. 30. Storage. That is not near the phone the one I just looked at. So, yeah. Doing uh, what I did, getting those phones for 15 bucks was just a real lucky day, a blessed day. 1.5 gigahertz, octa-core. That's an eight core. Oh, cool. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, I I bought an eight core ten inch tablet for my mom. Well, not this. I think it was not not this last Christmas, but the one before. And uh, that's the fastest tablet I've ever seen. And it was like ninety nine dollars. Uh, you know, it was a Chinese China brand. Everything's China. I mean, just because it. I mean, there are some things made in Japan some phones and stuff but, but I don't think they're entirely made in Japan anymore just like nothing is entirely made in America anymore internal memory 16 gigabyte up, up to 876 usable okay but the external memory only goes up to 32 gigabyte that is really weird so I don't like the specs on that uh, except for the octa-core processor. That's pretty cool. Got to pick it up. It must be some sort of sale. But, I mean, my my 64 gigabyte cards might not even work in them. That's crazy. To have a brand new phone that's that far behind in the in the expandable memory. Leave it like that. So unless see, there's like a high failure rate, you know, of the hardware or something, <clears throat> then whatever gives them lower stars, it could be the only two reviews. Yeah, they loved it. <clears throat> Let's see. just they don't like it but they don't say anything about it yeah so you know I'd have to go searching and searching but I'm not not gonna buy a phone <clears throat> I don't know um, oh let's try okay let's try uh, let's see if this thing will run on just the power supply because that, I, well, what I can do is use the, just start using the phone that uh, has the best battery as my mic, you know, as my lapel mic phone. And uh, <clears throat> use this one as a camera that's always, just it would have to always be plugged in. Okay, so yeah, got her, got her in my hand here. And uh, so the battery's out. And... Uh, Could go over there and do it, I guess, on, on the table. Let's see. Yeah, let's let's do that. I think I can. Let's see. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, trying to think of how. Okay, so I need to. Um, there's I got power over there, so I can unplug it. You know, I didn't want to when I switch to my lapel mic. I don't want to be. I don't want it plugged in anyway, so I can go ahead and unplug it. It's just that it'll jostle the phone around and everything. <clears throat> I can do that. Let's see. Um, I went ahead and plugged it back in a minute ago, so let me go over there and unplug that, and then I'll switch mics. I guess I'll go ahead and get on the scene that I want to be on. Okay, USB and Indescope. Then I can show what I'm doing. Okay, should be back on the, uh, yeah, wireless, um, or lapel, well, it's not wireless. The lapel mic on cam two, so, uh, uh-oh, oh, there we go. It's behind, but it's <clears throat> not frozen. Okay, let's make sure our, yeah, endoscope works. <coughs> kind of messed up the angle on the camera a little bit, not super bad, so I won't be too worried about that. Okay, so, um, yeah, that, that, that battery is just permanently swolled. Okay, so, um, Figure out where to put things. Okay, so I've got power here that's, you know, for the phones. And uh, so let's see if we uh, plug it in to the power. Uh, I don't see any light, anything happening. So I don't think with the battery out, I don't think it'll work. Oh, it's real hard to mash that little button without the cover on it. I'll go ahead and put the cover on it. <clears throat> That's what I figured is uh, just so I can know that I'm matching the button properly. So what I figured was that it won't come on without a battery in it. <clears throat> Probably dis, uh, you know, disconnects. It doesn't make a full connection. It, I'm holding it in, seeing if it'll come on or do anything, and it's not doing the thing. So, um, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, I just now realized. <laughs> I was thinking about, uh, you know, one of the reasons I didn't want to I didn't want to, um, I can still use the same phone. All I gotta do is swap batteries. They're all identical phones. So I can take my best battery and put it in here, which I guess is the one in the, it only goes in one way. And, uh, Raising up some. <clears throat> yeah, so we won't be completely out of the picture every time we try to do something. That's what I was trying to mash. Yeah, see, I can't get it to come on. But, oh, yeah, there's no. Now, there's no. So I guess, the, the, you know, 
there's three, let's see, four pins there, so I guess there's in and outs, you know. And when the batteries, I was sitting there thinking, I wonder if you could, it'd be pretty tricky. Well, if you got that wrong, you'd blow it up. <laughs> you'd get some magic smoke out of it. But I was sitting there thinking, well, maybe you could um, finish the connections. And that wouldn't make it run, of course, unless it was plugged in, but it'd just make it to where it would run with, with, with power on it. But uh, be pretty risky. Well, I guess it'd be worth a try. I mean, if the phone's useless, it'd be worth it'd be worth it. You just got to figure out what you, and do it right. All right, let's see. Ran just found a while ago. There we go. Yeah. So. Uh, <clears throat> Let it boot up and then then I'll plug it in to the power and just I mean it's working just fine and uh, but I, with that battery swelling like that I'm gonna figure that it's get if it doesn't uh, like fail catastrophic catastrophically fail and be dangerous then it will just maybe die a slow death or something. It's, uh, okay, so what do we got? Charge here. 82%, 81%. I can't really see it too good. Yeah, 82%. Let's just sleep right away. Let me plug it up. It should show that it's charging and everything. Did it change the icon? I think it, yeah, it looks different, I think. Looks different keeps going back to sleep okay so um, that would be right set up wouldn't it let's go back up a little bit cable cable is helping there okay so um, I may go ahead and use it a little use it a little longer and see if it acts like it's gonna be okay <clears throat> I think I'll plug it in over there Turn it off, plug it in, and, and let it be charging, and see if it warms, you know, acts warms up while it's charging, and uh, all that kind of stuff. But I mean, so far it hasn't m malfunctioned any more than just that odd thing that it was doing, been doing for a very. Oh, I hit re. Now that time it was me. I hit restart. <sighs> Maybe I do that more than I think. I uh, <clears throat> my eyes swap letters and numbers and swap letters and words into different lines when I'm trying to read in a paragraph or something, and I think I do that. I think that's what ha may happen there. When I'm trying to hit the top line, I hit the bottom line, you know, or whatever, you know. Like there's three lines to hit, and I may hit the wrong one, the one I think I'm going for, because my eyes don't work right. <clears throat> but. Uh, Yeah, it's rebooting. <coughs> yeah, I think I will go ahead and put it on the back on charge. Of course, it's not run down that much, really, but... Um, I think I'll put it back on charge. And the uh, main thing I want to figure out now, today, is I want to get my... I actually had... Oh, yeah. I was going to open some boxes that I got. I wanted to do it on video, and uh, but I don't know if I'm, I'm getting tired. This was more my more me out, more my brain out, more me out. Uh, all these hours of trying to get this video to work. But anyway, I want to try to. I do want to try to fix my OBS Studio, so I'm gonna have to put it back. Probably put it back the way it was before. Um. So. Okay, with it plugged in, it may do that thing. 
Dang it. I hate that dinging noise. You know, when you do settings on these, uh, now, I swear I didn't touch it way down there that time. I guess I can look in the video and see. I hit the restart again. It could be malfunctioning. Well, I'll, well, I'll look, I will have to try to remember to look back at that point in the video and see if, if I really hit the right spot and it's just doing that to me. But I don't think the battery, I mean, it, I don't think it would really cause something like that. It, it, the battery, you know, if it shows in its sensors that it's got 82%, then uh, the battery's not, uh, you know, I don't, I can't think of anything that a battery could do that, that could show, uh, could show an 82% that it would do anything like that. Yeah, see, I'm <sighs> having a hard time just keeping on, keeping on track here. Getting too tired. Well, I've been up a long time now. That's right. Okay. Now that time I hit it, I think I was missing this mark. My hand might. Sometimes my hands do kind of not go well. Uh, it might not just be my eyes. My hands don't always do what I want them to do either. So, well, the reason what I'm trying to do here is uh, I was going to get it turned off, and then I was wanting to see if it would I could get into that screen. Why don't I turn the volume down? I was want to see if I could get into that screen. Uh, where it shows that you can re reformat it and stuff. Oh, it just went off like normal. Now let's see what happens if you just... I'm just holding in that power button. I think that's how you're supposed to get in there, maybe. Or you may have to hold power and volume at the same time or something. It's just booting up like normal, I think. Well, anyway, um, I can't remember how you're supposed to get in there. I get in there all the time when I don't want in there. <laughs> so, yeah, see, it's not responding. And if I'm not careful, it will. Restart again, like it did a while ago. Turning it this way, cause it maybe I won't maybe I won't miss. Ah, now Google Voice shut down now. It won't do that, will it? It'd be kind of cool if it would. Oh, instead it searches for <laughs> government stuff. I just saw a picture of the president, so I know what I know what that's going to be about. And I realized what I just said shut down. <laughs> I didn't say government shut down. I said phone. Sh I should have said phone shut down. It is cool. You can say open an app, and it'll open it. You know. And the other day I. I don't know why I never thought of it before, but you can say set alarm and it'll say what time you can tell it the time and it'll and first I said like, you know, 2 p 2 p.m. And it's like it didn't work. And then I said two and then it's like, OK, setting for 2 p.m. because it knows what time it is already. So. But what if you want to set it for the next morning? Anyway, I used it. Uh, Oh, I was charging my battery to my truck, and I was out outside, out in the garage, messing with stuff while I well, with some old old computers are in the garage. It takes forever to just get back to that point and shut down. The other ones don't take so long to shut down. So anyway, I want to put it over there on the. It's warming up already. I'm gonna put it over there on 
on its uh, power charger that I have. Yeah, I, I, I'm thinking that that the battery is uh, it's there to where I don't think I'm gonna be able to use it anymore. It's, if it's already getting noticeably warm, just since I'm me filling around here. Um, and and the fact that it swelled so much, and like I said, now this one up here, it swelled a little bit too. And I kind of think I noticed that one swelled a little bit a long time ago, and I worried about it a little bit, and I decided, well, I'll just keep an eye on it. You know, I, it never did anything else, and I forgot about it, but now it's doing something else. But when I picked it up today. I don't, uh, evidently it went off into that, you know, reset mode, that reformat mode. I call it that because that's, well, it's, it's not, I don't think you can really reformat it. Well, maybe you can. I guess it reformats. I don't know. It, re, it can load the, uh, actually, I didn't see it. I think it's restored a factory condition, which, well, it's probably going to reformat the ROM uh, and restore an image, you know, from a factory image that's stored on there somewhere. I guess they have like a separate little partition with the original image on there. I, you know, I'm doing all the Linux, well, Windows or Linux, but all the operating system work I do, I'm really familiar with how that works. So, And this is, it's, uh, they say, you know, Android's not, well, it's not Linux, but, it, but it's based on the Linux kernel, but it is laid out and works just like Linux. So, uh, file system's the same. Most everything I've gotten into, you can't get into everything. Everything I've gotten into is the same as Linux. So let me go get my uh, get my mic back up and going. Plug plug my other phone back in so that it won't go down. Okay, now, <coughs> let's go back to, oh, we're on the desktop. I just thought of something I could look at. I didn't search on the, uh, oh, one thing that gets warm is that when that light, that flashlight stays on for any length of time, it warms up pretty quick, I believe. That's the area where it's warm at. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I just thought <coughs> that um, do a search just to see what, you, what we find out. Where's the one that, there we go, I'll sort them up on ABC so I can find one I was looking at. Okay. I wanted to... Uh, yeah, there we go. I don't know if I did. That is the right number, isn't it? Cheap. Yeah, I think so. I don't know how I remember that number. I'm not good at that usually, but it seems like I did.
go. I was going to search for that, you know, see what they say about when they start swelling and all that stuff. Most of these, most of what I'm finding here, I've already. Yeah, that one cannot deliver to the United States. Let's see. But usually, if you search again for what you're looking for, you'll find somebody selling it that says they can deliver it to the United States. Let's see. You can also say, uh, like, where it's going, I think. Yeah, see, that's why I don't want to spend that much money. And if you uh, if you find the right site, sometimes you can find these things for a reasonable price, you know. may not be I got that marked out I wonder why it might not be new that's what I was wondering twelve to twenty days to get there total price six forty five well, that must be the shipping and yeah, I did all that. You know, you get so much off first time user and all that, but you know, you have to spend I think you only have to spend like twenty five bucks, but anyway, it never it did not work out. But um and their rating system, you really gotta watch that. It's it's really weird. But anyway, uh just because it has some stars on it don't mean it actually has good ratings. Uh, you have to read it to see what I'm talking about. But uh Another another link to Walmart for that battery. Let's see what it's got. Another that's eighteen dollars. So must be a different seller. Sometimes it's really hard to figure out what seller they're selling it to. Okay, so. There's one place, let's see. I don't know that they sell that kind of stuff, but and I don't remember where I uh it was Dave Jones, he's, he's an electronics engineer that makes great videos and teach he's, I've learned a lot from him. Is that it? Yeah, the three cent microcontroller. Okay, that's on his blog. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then he was surprised to find this and he said it had good specs and everything. Let's see. Is there two sites? Oh, I guess there's more than one site that sells it. Anyway, these uh I looked through this site, one of the, one or both of these sites. Let's see, where did I put them? Electronics, parts and equipment. Okay, that's where I put them. Oh, come on. Dad, got me. I was trying to do that. It just, uh, yeah. Okay, so, um, that one doesn't look as familiar to me. Products. It's like they're mostly selling processors. ADC. Those are ADC is analog to digital converter. So, yeah, they're selling a lot. They're selling those. I'm just going to put that in there and just see what happens. I don't think it'll come up with anything. That's probably um, oh, oh, I should have put ARM A7. I 
I was just wondering. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see, they do have. See, they've got quite a bit, but this is electronics parts and processors and stuff. This is more of a general side. See, they got all kinds of stuff. So I thought they might have battery. probably have just a 2000 milliamp battery no they don't maybe they don't sell batteries no they don't sell batteries. oh yes they do oh they got parts for batteries you know stuff to put them in in with but they don't know that's pretty cool i don't want to do survey i don't want to mess with that i don't want that crap up in my face okay now um Molex connector. I need let's see four pin. Oh. Didn't their searcher is not very intuitive, is it? That does not look like that's a Molex brand, but it's not the kind of connector I want. Those are USB connectors and stuff. That's cool. All different kinds but they don't they don't have a single one that looks like uh, usually when you search if you just search online for molex connector there we go you will find uh anyway I, I just just a shot in the dark there that maybe one of these i remembered that video and that they did have some real bunch of cheap stuff and i thought well he, <clears throat> he i think he bought some to play with them or he was going to. So I thought it might be all right, you know, not a place where you get <laughs> your credit card stolen or anything. You got to watch out so much nowadays, you know. This looks like the only one that's, it's not an overviews, but it's the only one that looks like I would even do it if I was going to do it. I really want to spend that more than the phone cost to buy a battery for it. So probably I've looked at, I've been looking at phone, uh, cameras on and off anyway i'll probably just buy a camera if it comes down to all that because as long as these other two work then i can use one of them for or use the same phone but use see if it's warming up use the same phone but change the battery you know i can change the battery in the back cover you know although it is the one that's been acting up it could have been acting up because the battery hasn't has not been working right though but it's not hot now it's but it, I think it gets hot, and it could be that it just got hot because it ran for an hour all day today, really. Well, half the day, anyway. Six or more hours, six or eight hours, probably how long it ran in that mode. And that might be something that causes it to overheat, you know. Uh, I don't know why it would, but I don't... It seems like every every time it's I've caught, found it like that, laying there like that, you know, uh, that it was warm that's just what i seem like i remember so and this is on the uh you know my other two phones i have i have some like 10 foot or so uh usb cables so that i can move them around and everything and keep them plugged in but that's the original cable and original charger i even know that it's the charger and that and cable that came with the phone because i labeled them with tags so that uh, I, they wouldn't get uh, mixed up because i wanted to be able to know that uh, Especially since one of them was mom's, you know. So I put little tags, little cable tags on them, and I labeled them as to what, the, who, who they belonged to, you know. And I had a Dawn one, a Dawn two, and then a Theta. So <clears throat> I just wanted to do that, and so it's actually turned out pretty good. But uh, yeah, there, I, there's not. I actually did. I found an app to test my what kind of amperage and voltage I was getting through those new cables I bought. And it's just the tiniest little bit less than uh, the stock cables because they're, you know, the longer your cable is, the more uh, voltage drop you're going to have. Uh, but it's not, 
Uh, the reason I went in and tested is because the phones kept saying this is done, we, we don't this phone I don't think you know the phone says pops up a message saying this this doesn't seem doesn't not your original charger is what it was saying you know which it was the original charger it was just a different cable so it was noticing a the slight voltage drop but it's uh, I watched I looked through I watched them and played with them and made a video of it and uh, on a app that I found. Because the phone has its own built-in voltage, you know, meter and everything else. So uh, all I had to do is find an app that read it, read that information. And so uh, it was, it was fine. It was not enough to uh, cause trouble. And they, they charge. Everything's fine. It's just once in a while when you reboot them or unplug them and plug them back in, they'll give you that message. The funniest thing is they didn't do it for the first several days that I had was using those things too. But uh, I just realized there's always, sometimes you don't find stuff in the search, but then you look down here, customers also shop for, sometimes you'll find just what you want at a better price and stuff like that. There's one. That's an Alcatel battery, but it's only 1,800 milliamp. Of course, that's not that big a deal to me now that I think about it because <coughs> the thing is when they're smaller milliamps, they're usually poor or quality batteries too. Although this one seems to be labeled Al Alcatel One Touch and all that, it's a different number. Probably wouldn't even have the same pinout. That's the thing. I don't really know how you would get the right pinout. I mean, if you're gonna, if you were looking at it physically, you could, you know, you could see if it would fit. <coughs> but Let's see. Oh, th that's what I don't know if I ever did on. Now I don't. I think I did it on Amazon, but let's see. Um, this is what I'm. there now I may have already done this but let's check and see ah, you would think oh you found one now, isn't that funny you only found one and it's actually oh I already saw that one I think well no I don't think I did see that one Take the voltage out of there because, oh, you know, it says Lion instead of Lie Polymer, what's written on the battery. Let's see. I think that's the one. Yeah, that's the one I was looking at. Now, there's some other brand. That's cost more, so less. Hmm. Let's see. What does it say on mine? Well, let's just take out the uh, fly on now. There's two of them. Okay, yeah, there's a few more there, but nothing, no, no better price. Well, there's one that's 14, but it's a bunch of shipping. What's that? Oh, that's a. Yeah, that's not the same thing, but you know, same type. That's more a you you know more of a universal battery, same type battery, same size, same voltage. That's more of a universal type. See, it's like like would go in a house phone or something like that. It's got uh, I don't know if that's three or four pins, but anyway. Yeah, the battery deal is really too expensive. <clears throat> so, um, oh, I, I meant to. Uh, I 
think I'll go back to that right there. I was going to look up. Hmm. Well, let's. Could overcharging the battery just cause it to swell? Oops, wrong folder. Solid and gas. Using the wrong charger. Hmm. You break a fix. Let's see what this is. Build up of gas inside, okay. Oxidation, which is when they start getting old. Oh, all kinds of batteries. Easily occurs due to overcharging a battery due to fault the battery due to a of the battery due to a faulty battery or faulty charging electronics in the phone or battery charger. Okay. There we go. Will it explode? Catch fire, explode, removing a swollen battery can be hazardous, but leaving a swollen battery device also poses risks. Yeah, that's what I was kind of afraid of.
Yeah, okay. <clears throat> this is the kind of thing I've read before. <clears throat> That's what I was thinking of. <clears throat> so I won't, I don't think I'll go off and leave this plugged in. <clears throat> it's not hot, but. Because <clears throat> the thing is, is like I said, I, I usually, uh, um, I usually turn my power, my power strip on that go, leads to the phones. And when I get up and then I usually don't think about it again until I go to bed when I turn it off, when I turn off my computer. So that's how they usually stay on all day and they, they do get overcharged, you know. And that's probably, of course, it's been about as many years as these batteries supposedly last. From what I've been reading and seeing in videos, it's about how long these batteries will last anyway. So I don't know if I've really damaged them, but <clears throat> there's a, different exact kinds of batteries. Some of them can stand being plugged in a lot you know they don't get overcharged as long as they have a bms battery management system in them and these phones um uh, from what i understand you know they have bms's in them all of them but uh, some of these tool batteries they may or may not have a bms on you know built with in and on and around or around the battery but some of them i think have them in the charger they say and with phones are the uh, the charger you know the the uh, wall wart doesn't have a control in it or a BMS and the cable of course doesn't but the phone itself should have it built into it <clears throat> uh, but anyway um, I was going to try to read this but I'm too tongue tied to read that out loud but that right there is exactly what I was thinking and concerned about and so I'll put it really good good synopsis there you know so um yeah i'm not gonna um, i think i'll take the battery back out of it even uh, i'm gonna go ahead and i'm kind of worried about the like i said phone number one as well i'm gonna have to look it up but uh i guess i could get it down from there and look at it well i got everything i think i will while i got everything set up <clears throat> But that's man. I've been wanting to have a new, a, a, a new, a, a real camera. I haven't had a real camera in many years now, and it's really neat being able to, you know, stream. It's neat being able to stream over the Wi-Fi and use OBS to switch between cameras and all that. But the, I've had so much trouble with um, audio and video getting being out of sync, trying to keep that working within at all, you know, and. Uh, and they're not very high. They're not high quality, you know, high resolution cameras either. So um, I've been looking at other ways to do it, like with either like <clears throat> really Wi Wi-Fi just can't. I don't think can handle. I'm having to stream at 720p to have it work at all. I can't even do 1080p. But uh, since I have gigabit routers and switches now, <clears throat> I could uh, actually the best thing I think I can I found for just this if you're gonna if you need to zoom in you need a real camera with an optical zoom but if you're just doing close-up work like i mostly do then you could really use um surveillance camera system surveillance cameras that are, are gigabit capable not 100 megabit surveillance cable. well they might work i don't know i've been debating about that 100 megabits might work because these phones uh the wi-fi of these phones they generally do between the most they do is like 75 megabits i checked them many times or enough times and they generally run anywhere between 15 and 35 megabits and i think the wi-fi fluctuates so much because there's so much radio uh, wi-fi radio waves and every other kind of radio waves here where i live that there's just too much interference and too much too many uh, devices walking over each other you know whichever one's most powerful gets the gets the airspace uh <clears throat> the bandwidth and they, they put them too close together and you know there's all the rules and regulations and they're not supposed to get outside of their bandwidth but they do uh, we know that chinese manufacturers we know that manufacturers all over the world don't they like like batteries they lie about what they can do they lie about their specs they the famous samsung batteries that caught on fire and you know and all that stuff we know that manufacturers fudge, so guarantee you they fudge. I don't have any test equipment to to 
prove it, but I guarantee you they fudge on their uh, how much bandwidth, how much bleed over there is between bandwidth on their radio on radio devices. So, and that's what RF radio frequency. That's what you know Wi-Fi is. That's what phones. Uh, I don't care if it's Bluetooth. You know Wi-Fi, <clears throat> uh, television, uh, radio. You know music radio, talk radio, whatever. It's all competing for bandwidth, um, and then the sun itself sends out radio waves, you know, and all that. And it can it can really, uh, at any given time with a solar storm, you might have heard of those, you know, can give wreak havoc on radio waves and everything. So, weather in itself, you know, clouds, everything, everything. How your what's the materials your house is built of? What what kind of what you have in your house, you know the lights in your, in your house and what they might put out, what kind of frequencies they may put out. So there's so much to, in, in the way of, of a wire radio signal working well nowadays. Let's see. Is the battery swell? Yeah, okay. There's one that you can see that's swelled. <clears throat> Identify by smell. Safe, safe sniff testing. Sweet metallic, metallic chemical smell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if it was. So yeah, this. I don't know really know why I didn't. Uh, a lot of these details here I had kind of forgotten just how dangerous they really are. When they when they start smelling, they're bad. They're dangerous. They could do anything. Yeah, see, mine's got a hard case on it. That one doesn't. It's got a plastic bag around it. <clears throat> that one looks like it did some burning right in there. Looks to me, I can't. Maybe it's just <clears throat> my eyes, but can't tell for sure. But I think that that thing got real hot, and it discolored uh, everything on both ends down here. That looks like it's actually been burnt right there. That looks like a metal connector that's burnt. Could be black plastic, but I don't think so. Make sure I'm on desktop. A bad feeling when you think, oh, am I even showing what I'm talking about? Above they said don't run the va don't run your device with a swollen battery, and there they say run it down as low as you can before you take it out. <laughs> now that I'm reading it, I think I smell something, but I also have, which you may hear the dogs barking. Well, maybe not on the S58. But there's dogs barking now, and I got my window open. Um. <clears throat> Got my window open because it's too well. It's 79 and a half degrees in here right now with the window wide open. It's warmed up since it wasn't that hot a couple of hours ago with the sun up. Now the sun's down and it's warming up. They told us it was going to drop, the temperature was going to drop 30 degrees, but it's 73 degrees uh, on the, you know, the, the local, what's showing up on my desktop there. And, uh, <clears throat> well, I can actually have an indoor outdoor thermometer. I can see what it's 79 and a half in here. Switch it over and it'll change in a minute. I 
uh, a bucket with sand so you can throw it in there. I mean, it's not not bad advice. None of this is bad advice. Don't use water under any circumstances. That will react with the lithium and will cause a fire. Don't use water if it's smoking or burning, especially if it's burning. This is a really long article, and it's really good, but um, I think I'll... Seems like they're rehashing the same thing they already said. <clears throat> Look think it is. The same picture. Same picture. That's weird. Okay, so, <clears throat> yeah. So I'm going to take the battery out of that phone <clears throat> here in a minute. Actually... This phone, uh, you know, I've got it on the charger. It's not warm in the least now. There is something about it getting into that mode, you know, the mode that uh, it, it seems like I remember every time I found it in the mode where it's, uh, you know what it may be? It's just no dawn on me. When it gets into that mode for, uh, you know, it's not meant to stay in that mode. It's supposed to only happen when you do it on purpose. Uh, <clears throat> when it gets into that mode, I, it might be everything is in it is disabled. You know, like the BMS, the battery management system, all that stuff might be disabled, and it was over and it was overcharging the battery. It was just giving it the full five volts the whole time, and I didn't know it was, uh, you know, like that. So um, I'm wondering. Go ahead and unplug it first. <clears throat> it's not hot or anything, so I won't be worried about taking it apart. And I guess it's really, really could be very lucky that I had so much trouble getting my video working today and it completely and thoroughly cooled off before I even tried to take the cover off. Because, I mean, you don't have to get near the battery to open it. You know, the batteries, there's a, we said, if you can remember, there's a, you know, a, a, a ledge around it, however should say it but anyway i was going to do is see if i could get it into that i think you might oops i think you hold the volume button okay now it tried to come on or it did come on i was holding the power button and the volume button but it it lit up for a second and now it's not doing anything so i don't know maybe that made it just go back off I think it's just making it go back off. I think maybe that is how you get it into that reset mode, but uh, 
I've never, I think I've put it in it once or twice on purpose. But not, I mean, I, of course I did not. Like I said, I didn't do that today. And it's working just fine. But, yeah, I'm worried about it. So, uh. And since the battery is swelled up, and there's a, like they were, what they were saying in the article I was reading, it's, uh. It's at 95% now. <clears throat> was it 82 or so? Um, no, I'm not going to charge it anymore. It, when it swells, that ga the ga outgassing, they called it, that can cause the membranes <coughs> that separate the uh, lion, <clears throat> lithium ion, from, you know, the cells from each other. I'll say I I'm not saying it exactly right, but <clears throat> my battery terminology is mostly from car batteries that I know. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, they're not. I have read and watched videos and looked at diagrams, so I, I got it in my head. I just don't know. I don't. I uh, can't remember exactly how you're supposed to say it. But anyway, the, I know it's very thin, paper, literally paper thin. Sometimes it is paper thin <laughs> between them. It's usually plastic, I think. Little plastic bags, basically. Uh, and that's why you don't poke at them with anything, uh, because you could, pu you could puncture them. Some of them that you saw that picture I was looking at, that's just a thick. I've seen them before. Uh, it's kind of a thick plastic bag. But uh, I think I have it off now. <clears throat> it's kind of hard. Sometimes you think it's off and it's rebooting. So I best way to tell if it's off is to plug it in and see if it it'll do that. It'll come on and show I tell one touch and then it'll either be boot it'll yeah, go back to the charging screen and then you know it is actually off. Sometimes it's asleep. <clears throat> no, that's the way these phones have been. Anyway, I'm gonna put it over there. Oh yeah, the other one. Well before I quit all this I'm going to do that. I'm going to uh, see how I'll unplug that phone once again so that it doesn't buzz and uh, get this one down, put it on the, uh, we'll, we'll get over there <clears throat> and uh, look at it under the endoscope and see if I can see how swollen it's looked looks Should be back on the yeah back on the wireless mic. Unplugged it. I just now realized that maybe the uh, <clears throat> number two phone could be swelled a little bit too. It's really hard to see. It's it. It's really hard to tell. Well, I looked at that one with the scale earlier, but I didn't look at. Phone one with the scale. It's just a little warm. They usually, they do tend to get a little warm. I'm gonna turn it off while I'm messing with it. They do tend to get a little warm. Sometimes when they're sitting there you know, on the charger being used, it's at 100% still. <clears throat> I 
I always knew that it was a risk to keep them charging, you know, and to keep them. I didn't want because they'll you can't use them for phone uh, for cameras for long periods of time, more, ten to thirty minutes at the most, uh, without them running down unless you got them plugged in. So let's let's look at this one. Guess I'll. It doesn't really, I didn't think about doing that. Look, I'm standing up where I can see. Well, I'm looking over there at the preview, actually, so it doesn't matter if I'm standing up or not. Um, <clears throat> look at it like you look down a board. You can see more than you would ever think of how, whether something's warped <clears throat> by uh, just by looking down at it like you look down a board. I was a cabinet maker, and I did a lot of looking at boards to see if they were straight. You just got to get it on the uh, on the angle to where you can just see both ends, or if you can't, you know, <clears throat> then it's bowed in the middle. Or and if you get it, and if you kind of keep tilting it back and forth, you can see if it's cupped. <coughs> but when it's a small amount, <coughs> <coughs> then you may need <coughs> straight edge. <coughs> Straight edge is a good, a real straight edge. See, this is a machinist scale, a six inch scale. They don't call them rulers, they call them scales. But uh, that will tell you right quick, except for when you got some rubber bands in the way. But I can't, I've run into that, so I can't. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's not warped like that other one. It could possibly have, actually I don't think it does. Yeah, uh, just looking at it in real life instead of on the camera. I can, yeah, I can see that it's pretty darn flat. So it's okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna put it back over there. Well, let's first let's get it back on so that whenever I need it again for this field over. Oh, I might end up losing it from OBS though, because I turned it off, turned off the streaming and everything. Put it back over here. Get it all. Back up and running, and I'll be uh, ready to stream. Can't find the end of the cable that I want. There. Should have to guess about where <coughs> where to aim it, though. Now this one. You can see it. You can actually see it across that way easier than the lengthways. No, what's the? You no, know, you can see that. I was going to say um, if I had something light, I guess if I had, I could put a piece of paper down there or something, but it's so obvious. You really don't need too much help to see that it's really swollen bad. Yeah. This one I would say is down there. It's kind of flat, more flat. You got that little piece of. Yeah, down there is pretty well normal. Well, and it makes sense because the battery the battery is about. About in between my finger thumbs there. That's where it's at. So yeah. <clears throat> this one. I'm not gonna take that one down. I'm just gonna see if I can tell. Okay. 
can't really see too good, but I think it's okay. I forgot it's part of my, what I'm filming with right now. <clears throat> okay. I'll have to look it over later. But, uh, to be safe, i go ahead and take the battery out of this one again and leave it out. Sure wish it would. run just off the power supply that I mean that is a swolt battery and it really uh, I think the reason that the case swelled is because it was so warm you know it just softened up the uh, the case and uh, because otherwise, you know, uh, if it was if it was cold, if if it wasn't hot, then I think the case would have probably just popped open. But uh, I think because it was just warm, I mean, that's real easy to bend, though, really easy to bend. I didn't really, I hadn't thought, I hadn't uh, really messed with it. Very flexible. So yeah, that and it being warm. <clears throat> But it swelled and it stayed swelled. <laughs> so I um, guess I could take that SD card out of there for now. Well, it's easy to get the cover off. Well, it's not that easy. I was just thinking I'm going to probably end up wanting to use it for other stuff now. But and unless I buy, a I might as well because unless I buy a battery for that, that thing's out of commission. And if I decide to put one of those other batteries in this phone to use, you know, to have a wireless mic, then uh, uh, the thing is, not knowing why did the battery get bad. Now, it said that if the uh, BMS, battery control module, battery can, BMS, battery management system is not working right, that might be why your battery gets, you know, gets out. Uh, out, uh, overcharged and starts outgassing and starts swelling so maybe this uh, the BMS didn't work right in this and I know it acted, it's been acting crazy for a long time getting into that reset uh, mode all by itself it's been doing that it's been doing it a little more in the last couple months just find it like that so uh, yeah it could be malfunctioning so yeah, I'm not going to put one of my other batteries in this one. I may have to go down to have one one phone for... Well, we'll see how well this works. I can always use... Do what I'm doing right now. I can use the... Uh, I'll be tethered to my phone too. But this is a long enough cable. I don't even have it all unwrapped. I've got about 16 foot of cable. Or cables. There's two cables. There's two mics. <clears throat> I can... Uh, I just have to be tethered to it. it won't, I won't be able to be walking around free. I used to be able to walk around free with my mic. And uh, and I have a little adapters. <clears throat> yeah, that'd be the only difference. And as long as I'm just right here, it's, it's not too bad. I just have to remember to watch my cable and not run over it and ruin, ruin it <clears throat> with my chair. But I have, uh, and a little keyboard, let's see. Yeah, that's a Wintec. <clears throat> um, I have these adapters. It's not 64 gigs or uh, SD cards or uh, Strontiums. And uh, I have, they came with, I never knew they existed until I got them, but they came with a USB adapter and a full-size adapter. The Wintech, that's what this is, came only with the full-size adapter, but they'll work. Uh, the only difference with these and the Strontium is the Strontium stay in the adapter. The, I, use a, I use this USB adapter uh, first, and it 
I guess it uh, it started malfunctioning. Sometimes it would connect, sometimes it wouldn't. <clears throat> but anyway, I ended up let me get the one that I eat. I ended up uh, this is the other one, the second one that's not in there. Uh, that looks that's actually a cable in, you know, when you buy a new cable. It, I just put that under to protect it. But uh, this one's still working fine, except for it is cracked. Uh, somehow it got squished. You can probably see that, that it's broken on one side. Yeah, you can see it now. It's broken, just broken on one side. And I did everything I could to protect it. I hope that it didn't get broke because of this. <laughs> I don't think so. It, 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 it's probably, it's just not made well, I think, because I didn't, I didn't run around with them in my pocket and, and bump in, you know, like, bang them in, you know, like if it's in my pocket. anything going to happen. I could have run into the wall or, you know, I mean, I wouldn't put it in my back. Pocket, I'd put it in my side pockets, but anyway, it's, it still works, but, but the bad thing is you can actually put it in upside down if you're not paying attention because that's so flexible. But it still works, and the other one doesn't work anymore. Uh, I started having read errors and all kinds of problems, and I finally th I thought it was the SD card, and it turned out it was the adapter. <clears throat> but uh, I put, oh, and these, what I was saying is this is a Wintech, and so is this. I've got two Wintech 32 gigabyte ones, and somewhere there should be another card like that. Huh. But, uh, yeah, and another adapter. Now, this, originally, the, the one that's right here that was in the phone was... I'd bought for mom, so she probably, I probably never got that from her. And she probably didn't, didn't know where it was. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, if I wanted to put these in a laptop or something, I need that, need that adapter, I'd use that adapter. And uh, well, I mean, if in the, la you know, any in the laptop, I have two laptops, I think that have, that will take a regular SD card and then but the regular, my other computers, this is the only thing that would work anyway. But anyway, they work just like a USB stick.
Okay, sorry. I uh, guess ever since that uh, camera froze up, I've been silent and didn't even know it. Dang. I thought I was still talking. Well, I, I just didn't really remember. I forgot, you know. I forgot that. See, my, my, mic, my mic is normally on camera phone 3, not on cam 2. And so when cam 2 malfunctioned, it didn't even register with me that I was... Uh, Probably down. Let's see. And yeah, my cam one didn't come back. LBS didn't see it. Sometimes, it, usually it does, but not always. So once I turned it off, I, I started. You know, I read. I uh, well, I shut it down, and then I turned it back on, and then started the app again, but it didn't work. But yeah, <clears throat> dang it. So uh, yeah, I was sitting there. I finally started reading out loud. I was reading that stuff. And it is different. It's, it doesn't make it sound as dangerous. They were actually saying that, well, they didn't say anything about oxidation. They didn't say anything about, uh, they're saying air, you know, and they're not saying it's gas. Uh, well, they did say gas right there, but anyway, there's, there's, <laughs> um, Anyway, if you stuck around, then you could re probably had time to read all that because I was sitting there taking my time reading it. <clears throat> but uh, now that I've taken the battery out, I'm wondering if it might be a, it might still be. I don't think it's really going to be okay, though. Uh, like I said, I've said, uh, I don't know when I got went silent, but I've said, I've studied these batteries on and off for several years, quite a few years now, and uh, I just you know have trouble remembering everything, and especially for what type of battery. You know, there's lithium ion, lion is lithium ion, and then the, my batteries are actually, uh, a, I guess, a variant of that. They're the polymer, lithium polymer batteries. Uh, I, they're not the same exact lithium ion is a little bit different material than lithium polymer you know? but I think they have they have pretty close to the same characteristics but not the exact same and then when I got all sidetracked onto the tool batteries uh, nickel cadmium that's what my 18 volt DeWalt batteries are and uh, the new ones I think are most of them are lithium ion lithium ion but anyway um yeah, I had gone ahead and clicked on that. <clears throat> I saw it and then I skipped it and went on down. But uh, when I was saying, I didn't even get down. Normally, I don't read every one of those little drop downs. I've never seen so many. It seemed like the more I clicked on one, the more came up. I, I didn't know it did that. Normally, I go on. I might look at one or two and then I go on to the you know actual search results. Worms, let's see. Forums, I don't read too much unless I just can't find anything any better because it's all the back and forth, and people a lot of a lot of shoot from the hip. You know, they just talk out of the top of their head, and sometimes the advice may sound good, but if you don't know enough to know that they're wrong, they may be very wrong, <laughs> and you don't know it. So. Trying to read the page. And I have all kinds of pop up blocking on here. Still get that crap. Yeah, those are swelled for sure. Look at that! That laptop, that's battery was underneath the touchpad, and it swelled as much. It's, I guess they probably raised it up some more, but I bet it broke it loose. I read that on something else that it could end up doing that. 
you know, Charger uses advice. I think that's really the wisest advice. <laughs> what I was saying on that other one. Yeah, I, something that's uh, just common sense can tell you that if something's, you know, going so wrong that it's puffing up and swelling, <laughs> there's something wrong. Probably pretty wrong with it. <clears throat> so, of course, it wasn't swelling. I was going to say it went back down. Oh, yeah, it went back down because I took the battery out. And that's really soft. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can't see. I don't think I have a camera anymore at all that worked. It's working. Oh, now that one, no, that's still frozen. See, what that one did is, uh, I th I th it's probably because I had it unplugged. And I think it... Uh, she may have shut I don't know if the, no the app wasn't shut down it might have just quit working but anyway the app wasn't shut down but uh, in order to find out I kept hitting the back button to get to get the screen you know get to where I could see the screen and then I saw the app and then I went ahead and got out of it and, and got back in it but it didn't recover um, and I plugged it back in too so and I didn't even look to see if it was charged or whatever, but you know, that run had run down. Yeah, there's nothing on the table, and I'm not over there right now. So, uh, and this one never came back. Usually they do come back, even if it's a delay. But uh, anyway, I need to just quit and get off of this. I think I'll leave it alone. I'm really tired now. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to decide what to do with OBS. Uh, I think I've well. I think I've already decided. I'm not going to keep trying to use the phone three. Um, I think I'll uh, just have to be down to two cameras, you know. So, what? But as far as getting it, well, I mean, I think why it's not streaming. It like it, I think it's crashing when I try to stream. Well, it could be because all of these. Uh, every one of my. Uh, when I copied and pasted Audio Cam 2 into every scene, they still have the same name and it accepted it. But and it works perfectly if you're just recording. Uh, but uh, anyway, I may try taking out Cam 3 since I, I'm not going to have it anymore to use. Audio from Cam 3, that one. And if that doesn't fix it, then I'll go back and restore one of my backups of my profiles and then go start over, you know, go from there. But, uh, yeah, I won't be able to wear my, have a completely wireless mic anymore. I'll have to be tethered to my lapel cable, uh, either that or use the SM58. I can, I can push the SM58 around to where I can use it over there at my work table. But I have to remember to, it's pretty hard to, you know, remember to stay close to it and all that. So it's at least with the lapel. I mean, I've got a little good long cable, 16 foot cable. So with the lapel, that's what I've been doing this evening, this whole time. Is, uh, I don't have it all rolled out because then it'll just get under the chair and everything. Just enough for me to move back and forth. And uh, uh, I forgot again. <coughs> Um, just enough for me to move back and forth and do what I've been doing. But uh, only bad thing is I do get a buzz when it's uh, there is a, there's a buzz. Yeah, there's a I forgot about that. I, there's an annoying buzz. It's not real loud, but it's annoying. I don't think I would want to do that. If I unplug the camera, I'm pretty sure having the camera unplugged is why it went down. I was doing video and audio on the same camera, and uh, also it may not be all in sync either. We'll see. Uh, trying to stream all that from the same phone over the same Wi-Fi chip, you know, double, not quite double the bandwidth, but like one and a half as much or one and a quarter, probably one and a quarter as much or even less, one and an eighth as much bandwidth because audio is not anything near the bandwidth of video. But anyway, it's two separate streams. That's how come, well, that's the way, only way you can do it, but that's also an advantage that you can, you know, have your audio stream on one device and your video streams on two other devices. And it's, anyway, um, okay, I'm tired and rambling. I think I've been doing it for a long time. Okay, so um, 
Yeah, I'm just going to quit. I'm ready to quit and get ready for bed. I haven't had supper yet. So I need to do that. Okay. Um, Dad gummit. That was not expected. So now I don't have my faithful wireless mic. This is still a better way to do the wireless mic was with a phone because uh, lapel plugged into a phone because uh, easily get five hours out of it. <laughs> and you're going to get 30 minutes to an hour out of any other wireless mic. And then you're going to have to change batteries or <laughs> shut down your video, you know. And what will happen is you'll forget and uh, you'll have silence like I just did a while just now. So... Uh, which I was doing audio and video off the phone with it unplugged. So now that the phones can't do. The, the video is what runs them down real quick. All right. Well, I'm going to go and uh, see you later.